Welcome to Jackalair's Tech Ops. Alright, I apologize for that horrible intro, but these are some pickups that I picked up over the past two days and just had some really good luck. I'm uh, gonna start off with uh, Perfect Dark Zero soundtrack. I uh, picked it up for a dollar, I think, and was just amazed. Uh, CD looks clean. Was listening to it while driving around today and it just kind of blew my mind. Uh, next is Dot Hack Sign. Uh, while not actually a video game thing, uh, Dot Hack was turned into a video game. Saw this, called my friend, said, Hey, I know you love anime. Is this a good soundtrack? She's like, It's an amazing one. So I picked it up, and it is a very, very good soundtrack. Uh, now, I've been picking up some old NES games and trying to clean them up and get the stickers off them. And you notice I asked uh, the L1 Games how to get rid of Whiteout. But the sticker has been saying, hey, property of blah 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 video. So I've been trying to track down where that place is. And I managed to do it. And... I go in there and they're having a sale on all VHS tapes and I find Dr. Mordred. And I know the color looks horrible, but it's actually the plastic case that's on the outside, the inside. Looks in, in decent shape for as old as this thing is. Um, but yeah, Dr. Mordred. Pretty cool movie. The only way you can get a hold of it is uh, in a pack. Um, also, the actual VHS tapes are in those nice hard plastic cases as well. The next thing I picked up is, uh, I was, as I was wandering around, I noticed WrestleMania the arcade game uh, for the SNES, Genesis, 32X, and Sony PSX. Uh, strategies and Secret Codes, and it's a video game guide for the arcade on VHS, which kind of blew my mind. And I looked down, back down at the shelf, and there was another one sitting right next to it. So I figured, eh, I'll grab the second one. That way, hopefully one of them works really nice, and I can get a recording of it. Then I stumbled across this shelf later, WWF Raw, Secrets and Strategies for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Uh, I did not pay any of the prices you see. I paid lower on all of them. It was actually kind of amazing. In non-gaming news, I picked up Exit to Eden. Uh, if you can never uh, get this movie, it's actually a really funny movie with uh, Dan Aykroyd in it, and it has not been released on DVD as far as I know. Uh, many of you might be familiar with Earthworm Jim. I did not know he had a cartoon. And I managed to pick up Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the cartoon. I managed to pick up uh, Double Dragon, The Legend Begins, which I remember watching this show and thinking it was horrible back then. So I can only imagine what this is going to be like when I watch it now. Uh, Double Dragon. Anyways. Now I remember this show, and I remember there being a video game, and it's Skeleton Warriors. And I know it looks horribly yellow, but watch once I slide this thing out. See? Ugly? Awesome looking. Ugly? Awesome. Ugly? Awesome. Ugly? Anyways. Uh... The, the color really does not come through on that and it's because I have a crappy camera and horrible lighting and I'm better at uh, almost anything else. So I go in, I'm done looking at the VHS tapes and I see these boxes way back on a shelf. And the first one that I notice is one that I kind of laugh at because it's called uh, Cyber Tiger. Which I saw the edge and I was like, what on earth is that? And then I turned it and I saw, oh, well it's uh, Tiger Woods Golf. And it's 
sealed. And okay, so there's a brand new sealed game sitting on a back shelf at a mom and pop video rental store. Not unheard of. Uh, I looked up some gameplay footage, and I believe this one will be staying sealed because it didn't really look uh, eh, not my cup of tea. So I might pass it along. While I was there, I also picked up uh, Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey. I'm originally from Michigan, so love me some hockey. And to round it out, I uh, picked up Pro Football? No, Pro Quarterback. Pro Quarterback, that's right. Um, I picked this up mainly because I actually have a Super Nintendo. Or at least I have the FC Twin, as I've showed you before. And hopefully this isn't one of the games that doesn't work on it. That would be kind of suck. But my friend and I uh, play football games all the time. He is notoriously good at them. I am notoriously bad. Therefore, we play football for whatever reason. That's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these. And if you guys want, I'll post more of the weird crap I find. Take care.